don't know if I can fish. I want to fish it for my boat. I'm scared to take my boat. Because it's been acting up with the, with the water fly well. Hey boys, what are we doing? We got to get the moose before we go fishing today, right? The pop and pickle. Oh my God, they have the moose. Do you see how many you want? Two of these. You need two mooses. I'm getting three mooses. I'm serious. I'm gonna buy all of them. All right, what else are you guys looking at? Why is Walmart playing Drake over there, dude? Love the drink. Oh my god, Bradley. <laughs> Remember that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Ready for action work? Ready for action. We, wha we whacked him on that thing. I ain't gonna lie. We have an old challenge where me and Bradley tore him up on the ready for action. And then the tiger stripe. <laughs> yeah, the tiger stripe worm. Hey, that actually might work. Dude, that might be some juice. It might be like the moose. It might be something just random that would work on the it river. really well. Popping pickle perch. The moose catching machine right here. All right, boys, we're about to get out on the water right now. We're gonna be throwing moose bait, the old pop and pickle. I think some juice. We're gonna be hunting for some big bass today out on the Ogeechee River. Super excited about it. We're gonna adjust throughout the day. You know, we're gonna start off with the frog, really try to go for this key topwater bites that are gonna produce this big fish. And then, you know, later on in the day, we might end up slowing down and just trying to put some fish in the boat. But we're gonna see what we can get for our best five today out on the Ogeechee. Let's get it. Top water moose on right here. This is what we're starting off with. I'm gonna stick to this pretty much the whole day. Um, I think it can be very dangerous today. It's top water moose. If we get bites on it, this is the thing, guys. If we get bites on this frog right here on this pop and pickle perch, it's gonna be a good one. So, you know, I'm gonna stick to this the majority of the day. They're gonna throw it as well. And we're just gonna try to get on a killer top water bite to put in a big bag here on the Ogeechee. See, getting up in these little shade lines. Look at that. Oh, baby. I should get creamed right there. Look at that. Skip it up under them trees. Oh, baby. My hook's like starting to break this frog and rip out. Yeah. It's a mud fish. It's a mud fish. Yeah. You know exactly, hey, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. You know that bite that I had first thing, last video? Yeah. It was a mudfish, because it sounded the same exact way. Well, that was quick. <laughs> That's a real moose. Look at that. The moose got him a moose. Definitely one in there. You could pitch that right up in that corner. That might be. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he came off? Yeah. Oh, dude. That was a bass. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know he came off. I knew there was going to be one right there. Can't see it, but I can hear. Ooh. That was a big bass. I couldn't see it, I could just hear it. I, I saw him though, I saw his uh, back just come up at the last minute. Did you see it? I had a feeling I was gonna get hit under that. Oh yeah. I want to catch one of them. Oh my god! Oh my god, get the net. Get the net, get the net. 
He's running at me. What? Oh, he's a bass. He ain't quite there. He's pushing it, though. Dude, look at him choke it. I didn't even twitch it, dude. He dived over it in the pads. Freaking big moose is gone, dude. That thing is gone. He dove over I never popped it. He just went home. Right when you I told that, you, too. I was, like, That's I was like, yeah, let's get us a pad bass. I didn't even move it. And he just, I mean, look how far deep it is in his throat. That is awesome, man. Hit that like button, guys. That's that's what we need. He's in the back of his throat. That's how far he ate that moose. And that is a big river bass. Hey, that's my biggest one, Gigi. That's my biggest one, Gigi bass. You guys are wondering why we're putting him in a live well. We're just gonna get a cool pick out the end. We're gonna make sure to release the fish in the general area, but we're just gonna get a cool little river pick at the end. These fish move so much in this current, but that is my PB Ogeechee River Bass right there. Oh Holy crap, it's a bass. Yeah. <laughs> no way, dude. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Dude, this sounded like a, oh, Bradley. <laughs> Bradley. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dude. I thought you had a, I, I thought it was bigger than, dude, the, the, sound, the sound of that thing blowing up. There you go. It's a, still a good river fish. His blow up was crazy though. <laughs> that was, it was so loud. Yeah, I thought it was huge. That's a big bass. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Choke the moose. I'm never in my life, Bradley. Solid two, two and a quarter. I'm gonna grab Alan Boss. Oh, you're good. Oh, okay. You're good. So look at that, guys. I mean, the moose is just doing it. He choked that thing. Solid two. This one's actually in the pads as well. I think we might end up finding a pattern with these pads, as you guys can tell. Right here. Got all these beautiful looking pads, but they're very isolated. Like there's tiny patches here and there throughout this whole creek that we're going back into. And there's actually a bigger patch of pads over there. I don't know if it's more of these little isolated ones that are holding the fish, but man, they're good ones. And they're choking the freaking pop and pickle perch bait. Uh, pads look so. Oh my god! Oh my god! I got him right away. He's a big one. Oh, he spit oh, it! Oh! You see how big he was? Yeah, was that was a three big pounder. We gonna get hit in a minute. Yep. He's not big. It's the first moose fish that hasn't been big. He choked it. Keeper. He's a keeper. Look at him. How do you even eat that frog? Look at that. I'm talking about eating a frog. That's crazy. Tiny. I can't even get it out of his mouth, dude. <laughs> what the heck? There you go, guys. Another little moose fish. A little pop and pickle. Oh my god. That's a good bass. And that current break, all that cypress tree, right? Yep. Oh yeah, that's a good little fat bass. Fat bass. Fat river bass. On the crawl, a little something different. I got my line all tangled up. When you hooks at him, I thought you had a really big one. Was he stuck in something? What? Was your fish stuck in something? When you hooks at, I was like, oh god. I thought you had a mud fish for a minute there. Side. It's about to be bottom low. It's like dropping down. It's like right on that last little drop. About to be bottom low tide. Good. 
moose. The moose. It's not a bad fish at all. He ain't big, but he's not bad. Got him on the moose, baby. Making a little quick adjustment. Coming over here by the salt water. Still throwing the moose, and the moose is still getting it done today, man. It's happening good. They just love the moose, and that is a good quality little old river bass on the old pop and pickle. Not bad. I don't need a net. 13 inches. Oh, God. <laughs> what the dude, I grabbed my frog. Yeah, I grabbed my frog and I squeezed it, dude, and it squirted out of the eye onto my face. And I thought it was a fish pissing on me. I was like, no. Well, boys, we got us another. Um, what is it called? Moose. moose. Got us another moose bass. Nothing big. It's still a beautiful moose bass. He creamed that thing, working it fast that time, but a little beautiful fish. Tide's gone out. We're about to get to work on the frogs. Watch out for that Come on, fish. I can't believe we had that many frog bites coming in here last time. We might end up getting them as we're coming out. Like up, I think up there, like towards the mouth more. That was a good one. Ah, I got him. On the moose. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. That had a cool one out. Pretty little bass on the moose. <laughs> Freaking moose, dude. I think it's my sixth one on it today. Just straight beautiful river bass. Cannot beat that. Catch them on a frog. That is just yeah. so much fun. Sorry, girl, I got a ghost. Yeah, you know this ain't the old me. Try to keep it on the 